Okay, let's continue. So, Upstairs where? Well, to the uh, cancer ward. It's like a couple floors up. Do you have another map for that or what? This is not a combat area, so no, I don't have oh. a map for it. Okay. Just wondering. So, uh, how do you introduce yourself to the nurses who seem very upset about someone already having uh, uh, raided their uh, patients once tonight, outside of visiting hours no less? As for your dom roles, it's manipulation intimidation for dom 1, manipulation leadership for 2, and with subterfuge for 3. So you know, you could try and convince one of the nurses to talk to you on her own. It's probably not a good idea to hypnotize one of them in front of the others. There's like uh, three of them talking at the nurse's station in worried whispers right now. Maybe we should uh, act like we're one of the <laughs> old bald guy's relatives or something. Who of you has the best uh, lie rolls? Like, how many dice do you have at subterfuge plus manipulation? I think Raffaello might be the best. He put a lot of stuff into that, if I recall, from his sheet. I have two. So you have two points of manipulation. Got it. So, Raffaello? I have it in subterfuge. Oh, I mean, like, what's the... Raw uh, manipulation plus subterfuge dice. Five. Yeah, Raffaello is probably the best of you lot. He has a lot on those. Yeah. Okay, you go and lie to the uh, lie to the nurses about being the <coughs> uh, being the uh, being a relative or something. Okay. I want you to know what happened to the uh, what happened to the guy uh, to the guy that got ab got abducted. I mean, he probably went willingly, right? You don't, you, as a relative, you wouldn't know that, actually. Yeah. You just arrived and was like, be like, confused. Just imagine it like one of those cancer movies. Where, you know, Something they go on like one that. last adventure together, you know, crap like that. <laughs> yeah, one of those things. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, you, what do you do? You, are you trying to get one of the nurses on you, their own, or are you just trying to get information from them pretending to be a relative? Okay, so, uh, okay. The nurses say that they can't really talk about it because, well, the police are investigating the matter. They wouldn't want to interfere with things and they're really sorry about what happened, but they're sure it'll be all right. It, it, it's it's going to be fine. Just don't worry and don't sue us. So, yeah. They're not going to tell you much. Probably. Not with this story. Most likely. But you know, there are security uh, cameras everywhere. Can you use dominate for this? Uh, not dominate. We have a <laughs> presence for this, maybe? One of you? I, I don't have presence. Uh... You could use Dominate 2 to essentially get them to tell you about it, yes, but you can't really just freely manipulate memories. You could go something along the lines of, tell me exactly what happened here, or we will sue you. You really should tell me what I want to know, you know, crap like that.
you know. <laughs> yeah, just let's play this out. I have something in mind. You're gonna love it. Yay I'm for sure we are. I'm sure we are. Oh, <laughs> you will. Oh, you'll love it. That's the start of every interesting situation we ever get into. That sentence. I mean, you can just call Malik over here if you... Uh, he's pretty damn good at Dominate as well. Better than you, in a way. Do it. Uh, what, what, where? I said I would do it. Okay. Manipulation, intimidation. Uh, what are you trying to do? Get the information out of them. I'm going to tell them we're going to sue. Okay. So, something along the lines of, you really should tell us what happened here, or, you know, whatever. Yeah, you can uh, make a dominate suggestion hidden in a sentence that way, I suppose. So, yeah. Uh, it's manipulation. Actually, did the did the prince ever give me back my sword? Uh, you picked it up on the way out. Okay. Okay, I want to tell them. You better tell me what happened here, or else I will sue. Okay, the nurse you focus on. Emphasis on tail. Uh, actually, uh, goes a bit glassy-eyed, and she says. It was so weird. I was down at the blood bank when she broke in there, and it was... She moved like lightning. I've never seen anything like it. I mean... Oh, uh, well, that's bad. <laughs> I mean, right in view of the camera, I'm sure it will... I mean, I can't wait to look at the recording. I mean, it was amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Translation, you're deep shit. Well, the person who did it is in deep shit. We will have to dig out, uh, dig, uh, dig her out of it, essentially. We could. She wants her to live. We could wipe the uh, the hard drives on the uh, the sick surveillance system. Could we not? At least some one of us has, uh, has computers, so we could actually do it. Not yeah, me. Just one point. That just makes you a slightly more educated user. You don't... Well, I could I could destroy the hard drives. Uh, you can certainly ask about uh, security measures, but yeah, the nurse is still talking about how uh, the... Um, apparently, she demanded to see Lyosha. When she was refused, the thug pulled a gun on them. And uh, she broke through the door, dragged Lyosha out, and they just went downstairs, proceeded to beat up a security guard or two, bust into the blood bank, just go away with an armful of blood bags, and ride off into the uh, sunrise, so to speak. So they just went through this place like a tornado. But isn't that fucking great? I guess we'll have to pay the security room a visit. visit. Okay, you can proceed to the security room. There are cameras. It appears to be locked. I buffed my dexterity and plus they can't see me because of my condition right now. That is true! They see a blurry outline. Your cameras don't catch you properly, especially digital. Well, digital ones less so, but especially uh, tape ones. But they do get a blurry outline that's sort of fading in and out of focus. So they see just enough to make it bad. 
Well, you have to you have to uh, destroy uh, destroy all the ca- uh, all the footage yeah. the entire day. We're, we're, essentially, we're wiping <laughs> out. We're wiping after just our hard drives in general. I thought so. Okay, you may proceed to pick the lock. It's gonna be a uh, another difficulty eight lock. It's not like it's electronic or anything. It's just a uh, ordinary lock. Yeah, you managed to force it open, but you took so much time that you see a you know one of those nurses that also happens to be a nun, possibly doing charity work, walking down the hallway. Oh crap! This is Why bad. do you hate me so much? A <laughs> nun, kill it, kill it with fire. <laughs> well, that's Can't a really bad fire idea because we'll run everything. Um, can I walk over to her and uh, distract her or something? Uh, okay. She seems to be picking up some sort of weird vibe off of you, almost as if you are a monster and have done something monstrous in the recent past. <laughs> I was talk- I was sort of talking about how <clears throat> how I feel so bad uh, how I feel so bad about uh, about my life and everything right now. I played a guilt trip. She's Catholic. It'll work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so you want to uh, drag the nun off to the chapel to pray with you? Essentially, yes. Okay. It's a good thing I didn't pick any of those ba- uh, negative uh, uh, traits that have anything to do with uh, social things. Okay, you may proceed I... to roll a manipulation subterfuge roll. Two successes would be good. Don't say. Damn it! Okay. She just looks at you and she says, The chapel is on the floor below. I think the priest that uh, serves the patients here is still in tonight. If you hurry, you can meet him. I have to go. And can she... I dive into the room while he's talking to her? Yep. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. <laughs> That's essentially what I wanted to do. I thank the nun uh, by uh, and shake her ha- hand, uh, sh- shake her hand very fiercely, and then walk away. Okay. Toward the stair, making her uh, making her take as long as possible uh, uh, along here. Uh, she frowned, seeing Raffaello near the uh, security door. Meanwhile, you, Malik, are face to face with a shocked security guard. <laughs> Dominate him, <Indeed>. baby. <laughs> I'm going to dominate him. Okay, what's your uh, hand? I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> Freeze, sleep, die. <laughs> I don't. I'll tell him is not an s- option, you know. He's like. <laughs> if I tell him to go to sleep, he'll remember me. So shouldn't I do a memory wipe on him and everything? You I should could. do a memory wipe on him. It's up to you. Yeah. Freeze would definitely be a good one. The uh, camera system appears to be analog, incidentally. This is a hospital in a poor area of the city, and it's not exactly equi- equipped with the most modern things. So I'm going to tell him. To, I'm going to tell him to get down on the floor. Or no, I'll tell him to kneel, and be still. <laughs> okay, so just. This is I'm kneel. Okay, uh, roll at. Uh, Difficulty 4 for me. Actually, make it difficulty 3, since it's... Oh my god. It doesn't matter. <laughs> three ones. Seriously, game? Okay. Does he t- uh, trip off the alarm? the alarm? His hand reaches for a button on the desk. You have about 3 seconds, enough to make one more move. Before things get bad. Punch him in the face. Can I try it again? Or I you, guess I will punch him in the face. Uh, you didn't botch, so you can in theory try again. 
difficulty three, right? Yep. He's just a fat security guard. He falls to his knees in utter shock. So you just set fire to the room and leave, right? Letting him burn? No, I'm going to uh, wipe his memory. I'm going to tell him uh, that he partially left the door open. I'm going to make him believe that he partially left the door open and the wind kind of pulled it open and it startled him. Okay. Will that work? It depends yes, on the how draft well. did it. It depends on how well you roll. You okay, which what, what was that again? Uh, with subterfuge. I think that's five or six dice for you. If you roll it, uh, if you roll well enough, <coughs> you you might even be able to say uh, say that he ne uh, he never even. <laughs> uh, no, he, he, uh, never... he declares what he is trying to do first, essentially. I think. So, is it a? Uh, you should probably go and say that he never remembered uh, this, uh, that the uh, it, <laughs> that it uh, that it not even happened, and that the as you even came in here. It's done. He already picked what he's gonna. Okay. Do. Okay. 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 Uh, difficulty three Dale. with subterfuge. Okay. You can make him believe he saw the Pope descend from the heaven and erase the tapes. He'll believe whatever you want him to at this point. So yeah, he's fine. You know that this guy's probably gonna take the fall for the tapes getting wiped, right? Yeah, and I do feel very bad about this. No, you don't. You have humanity of four. <laughs> well, I can lie, can't I? <laughs> You know, you really are a monster. A little bit. Okay. I'm going to get even worse before it's over. Okay, so uh, you can just pull the tapes out of the uh, thing. Do you have any technology? Can you figure out how this device works? <laughs> well, I left, so I can't help you with that. Well, the I... nun, you didn't actually have to stay in the nun's company, so you're outside the door watching for uh, witnesses. Okay. So he can sort of call you inside if you want. Do you do Hold that, on, mister? I don't have any technology. I'm trying to figure something. I have investigation. You know... You could just call me in there. Yeah. Okay, come on in here. <laughs> okay, do I roll? Uh, what's what's the difficulty on it? I'm guessing it's int, int plus technology. Uh, yes, int plus technology. Uh, you know, you're not exactly familiar with surveillance equipment, but you've worked with some electronics and shit. You can probably figure it out. I don't know. Call difficulty seven. Impress me. Yay! Okay. So, uh... You managed to uh, trigger an, uh, a recycling protocol that the machine can use to uh, just uh, swiftly wipe the tapes and uh, prepare them f just, you know, essentially formatting for next use. So you don't have to pick them out or pile them in a you know, pile and set fire to them, you can just order the machine to do it for you and keep moving. Now all you need to do is find someone that can tell you where they went next. Actually, if, uh, can I check the tapes where, uh, where, uh, where, uh, where she w went before I wiped them? Uh, sure. Uh, she went outside and got into a car. Can I see the, uh, uh, the number plates? Uh, sure, you can pause it and make it out. Oot. It spells lead bitch, of course. No, it doesn't, <laughs> but it should. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do you I, want to uh, Then we delete the recordings and then we uh, get the fuck out of here, I guess. Well... 
you still don't know where she went. It's not like it's not like she went. Uh, she went to the. Well, actually, maybe we, should, uh, we, we could uh, we could ask someone where he lives. Maybe we could get to the records or something where he lives or something. I don't know. Do they even keep uh, such records in the uh, in the hospitals? And they're bound to on patients anyway. That's like basic uh, information, your address, name, crap like that. Okay. And we just have to get access to the archives. Okay. You know, you could have asked some of the security guards around the place, or the, na or the nurses, or the nun. But you know, yeah, you can break into the archives. <laughs> Yay! But yeah, actually, we um, did we leave the uh, did we leave the cameras on? Is the question. <laughs> if we did, we probably should ask someone instead of breaking into the archives. <laughs> you know, the uh, system is currently shut down because it's uh, reformatting the drives. It's like a uh, purge of the uh, thing, but. You have like five, ten minutes before that is done, and Malik's shadowy outline is once again on camera. Yay, we should get out of here. Okay. Like, at least uh, Malik should. Okay, as you move towards the lifts and stairwells, you see the cops getting out of the lift, heading towards the uh, surveillance room. <laughs> I don't think we should ambush them. You will get a surprise round if you do. I don't think we should. I don't have any weapons and I don't have any brawl stats either. Well, Bronson has his shotgun downstairs, right? I don't think that's a good idea to use it. Killing people... It's not a good idea in the middle of a hospital. Maybe not, but I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are at four, so for the humanity, sir. And I'm ready to just pour some gasoline on this place and let it burn. That would be a horrible atrocity, and that would be a sin at even like you know, humanity of two. Uh, I, we should probably check that. It's probably a good idea to see what what's an atrocity. And how do we lose our humanity to, uh, and get it to zero so we can? Become white and kill everyone. I'm right? surprised I still have four on humanity, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you want to head next? Question the nurses again? I mean, she did smack around some security guards and they were at the doors when she ran out. Maybe one of them saw or heard something. Actually, did, you, uh, did we see what way the uh, car went? Yeah. Through the security tapes. It went vaguely in the direction of your uh, haven. Consider yourselves near the Bruja slash Malkavian territory, and it went south from there. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure to arrange things. So, where to next? Well, Did we question the security idea. guards first? You should probably do it, but you should leave the uh, you should leave the uh, uh, enter the car because you really should not be in the uh, be there when. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go sit in the car. Happen. Oh yes, just leave the one guy who can actually dominate people into revealing. No, their but seriously, you can't have it either for ten minutes or something. Also, who's, what's the guy doing in the bar? Oh, I'm just setting something up. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh, jolly, fine, I'm, I'm sure. How much time do we have left now? I mean, you essentially need to figure out what you're doing and do it. Like, now. What is it? Am I leaving or am I staying? Because those cameras are about to come on. <laughs> well, you have a few more minutes. 
you have enough time to question one maybe two guys if on your way out like the guys that are stationed on the door for example like Sarah just came out of there and he said we have like 10 minutes ish before the cameras come on So yeah, we should talk to... Maybe, <laughs> maybe you should leave and uh, I and Rafael will talk to what, uh, talk to a, uh, talk to someone as, as what, someone who isn't one of the nurses that we talked to earlier and ask <coughs> and ask as the uh, uh, insurance as the insurance company uh, where he, uh, w uh, actually that would be a bad idea. No, scratch that. So one, of, so one of you come up with an idea what we should do. Well, we do have our license plate, and I have a computer. And that yeah, will but let it's probably you not track her right now before okay. she manages to turn the fucker. Well, out. I do have a. Well, I do have a phone too. At manipulation leadership, I can uh, go and ask one of the security guards uh, where he thinks they went. Or if they've heard, I don't know. Or if they heard something or got some idea where she could have went. Uh, just uh, roll uh, with subterfuge for me to, uh, you find one of the guys that was on the door when she went through them. Or, you know, in the reception room. Oh, hey. Yep, he spills the beans to you. Apparently, he was telling her ghoul to move it along because they had to meet a sabbat at Eddie's bar. Eddie's bar being the place where the previous night you met with the Russians. Yay! We're going there. And <laughs> double time. I assume that this time you are going to go in with your weapons. Yes, I'm going to take uh, take uh, take this uh, sword from the trunk of the car uh, uh, and, equi and equip it. Okay, and uh, you and your wonderful servant both have shotguns then. So you may place yourselves on the, uh, well, near the bar, and decide how you're going to go in. Let's hope we don't have to kill, uh, kill the person we're not supposed to kill. You know, Alberta may be unhappy. She made herself very clear there. Are you just going in? Well, I'll first be checking, like, with the with a perception. Uh, a, uh, <laughs> is it awareness or alertness uh, to to see uh, to see if there are invisible people around? Go ahead. You can uh, both roll to detect obfuscated peoples. Maybe not go right in there. Okay. So yeah, make your perception awareness rolls at difficulty 7 because you don't know how skilled the ones watching may be. Nope, doesn't look like there's anyone there. And you, Nietzsche. Your perception awareness at difficulty 7, please. Doesn't seem like there's anyone there. Well, isn't this great? You could try and fake them out, pretend to be mortal. You haven't seen our weapons drawn. Well, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> well, you don't have Auspex too, so you can't really see invisible people yet. We enter the 
the bar. Do you all walk in at once or do you do it one at a time? Probably all at once because like it's one of you better that way. Around the uh, corner first. Okay. Uh, the one trick faces you, lock signs with you, and commands you to get out. She fails horribly unless she's lower than uh, uh, equal or lower to me in generation. Yes, she does. However, you can use this opportunity to turn around and walk out, telling the others what you've seen. Since she doesn't know that you are a guy. Yeah, I, I whisper to everyone. I, I open the door and close the door. Also, Bronster should be inside. And not by the window. You may now proceed to predict how Bronson will fuck this up. <laughs> Bronson will probably uh, just walk inside and uh, and and get. Uh, get uh, as, he just uh, walks in guns to... blazing. He doesn't care. He has no rhyme or reason for what he <laughs> exactly does. Exactly what I. Uh, oh God, I, I face form and uh, and march after him. He actually uh, trying to you. drag him in after me. Uh, he looks at you, Mal. Which one do we want alive? <laughs> I you know what? I'm going to dominate him. <laughs> You're going to dominate my ghoul? Yes, I am going to do it right now. Protson, get behind me. Okay, 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 okay. Just wanted to look, that's all. Okay, not then, if you're not... Uh, we, need to do, we need to use some tact here. Um, okay, she's coming into our way. Yeah. She seems to be looking okay. through the windows at Bronson, actually. <laughs> actually, this is why I told him not to uh, be by the window. <laughs> I mean, uh, he got oh behind crap. Malik. <laughs> you know what? We're going in there. Let's just right go. Now. Let's don't go. kill the blonde. Don't kill the blonde girl. And, uh, uh, Carmina, don't kill, uh, don't someone shoot yet. is watching us. So good evening, okay, ladies everyone. and germs. Everyone in here, put your hands in the air if you if you were to, uh, if you were to be so kind. Uh, also, Bronson, get the fuck up here. Uh, Losha just uh, snaps his eyes to Alicia and raises his hand. So he's, what? What do we do? All of them now. I brandish my sword quite, uh, quite, <coughs> and get away from the window, uh, please. I brandish my sword at the blonde girl. Girl, can I dominate her and tell her to get down, you so can. she doesn't run? Yeah, you can. What I you dominate. The, uh, also, I don't. Uh, I, uh, I go, I'm going to dominate the uh, the, <laughs> uh, the la uh, Latino woman uh, into. Free, uh, to freeze because she was moving towards me. Who the fuck are you? I dominate. I tell her to freeze and to start dominating her. Okay. What's the difficulty on her? Is it six? Uh, on Alicia five. And on the Latina woman? Uh, six. Okay, Alicia just screams in impotent rage. Whereas the, uh... <laughs> okay, tell the barman to leave. Meanwhile, Bronson steps up and proceeds to blow the uh, other ghoul's brains out. <laughs> What's he <laughs> drawing? I'm okay oh, with God, that, I, to be honest I with. told you to not... Uh, uh, I do, uh, can I dominate uh, Bronson before he does anything more? No, you're... He's doing it while you're dominating. God damn it! <laughs> he has a, he's a person who has a strong sense of personal initiative and responsibility. Okay. And I'm just gonna be honest with you. I kind of don't care that he did this. And I'm pissed at him because I didn't want. Uh, I wanted as little bloodshed as possible. Because this is, uh, this, uh, is like that's our mission objective. Try not to cre uh, create a murder fest. 
I'm oh, a monster. That's right. We could use this. We could say like we are no nonsense characters, so do what we say. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, this guy is probably is very very badly wounded. Apparently. No, he's not. Where his head used to be is just a bloody stump spurting blood. Oh my god! <laughs> Bronzo you looks very to... satisfied as he uh, pumps his shotgun and points I at Yosha. Can I now dom Can I now dominate uh, dominate Bronzo to uh, to freeze? Why not? I, why can't I just tell him to come over to me? <laughs> Because I don't trust you. Also, do I get willpower for this? For what? For him going in guns blazing? You know. Essentially, yes. Sure. No, you cannot use presence on my ghoul, Raffaello. <laughs> so, did you roll for the uh, barman to leave that dominator, Raffaello? If not, please do so. What was the difficulty? Um, can you... Can you... Let me just find him in the mortals list. Yeah, but uh, can you someone tell me uh, Bronson's uh, uh, willpower? Seven. And he's actually surprising surprising will, but that's what, about what I should have expected. Uh, Raffaello, it's difficulty six for the barman to leave. Okay, what are you commanding, Jackalor? I command him to freeze. He looks at and you with I... a da fuck expression on his face. And then, then I tell Malik, take, uh, drag him off, uh, drag, drag him out of here, now. Yeah, meanwhile, Yosha is looking in horror at the, uh, We're dragging out. a wounded ghoul, <laughs> or the destroyed ghoul, his eyes just snapping back and forth from Alicia to the ghoul. Oh, and as you step closer, you can tell that he is very definitely a vampire. Well... <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. I'm, go uh, I'm going to uh, roll uh, perception uh, 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 awareness to actually see if he's a vampire, because that's the objective, because I'm pretty sure that uh, that's uh, what uh, the vibe I got that... Uh, uh, not the vibe. The... Uh, the um, well, uh, that's uh, what I gathered what she was intent on doing uh, from this. Especially considering the, the blood bags she got with her. You know, that's a fair assumption. Apparently her lover dying didn't seem like a good idea to her. I don't know why I thought, uh, thought that was a thing. Okay, so, uh, yeah, you managed to get Bronson to back off. The Latino woman just uh, bows to you respectfully and says, Clearly my services aren't needed here. With your permission, I will be going now. I would suggest you to st uh, stay where you are. Sabat, you're not going anywhere. Uh, she uh, just um, giggles nervously. You are uh, you are under arrest. Uh, we are going to bring you uh, bring you to justice be uh, before the prince and the name of the Camarilla. She looks at Alicia, and spits at her feet. Move over here and uh, and uh, and point at her with my sword to get on the ground. Listen, I never had a choice in any of this. I You are getting I, on the I, ground I, now. I, I charge her and I, stab, uh, stab her. With, I'm going to charge her and stab her with my sword right now. Okay, stab her then. Can I not tell her to get down? Also, too? I'm going to buff, uh, buff my dexterity. Uh, I'm going to bu buff my uh, uh, dexterity by two. Okay, if you want to spend blood, you can do so. Alicia is frozen. And I'm going to uh, aim. I'm going to aim for her leg to uh, de uh, de uh, disable her. You are gonna try and chop off her leg. Well, I'm trying to uh, wound her leg so she can't actually move it. Use it to move around. Okay, then it's a difficulty eight strike. 
Okay, you managed to hit the muscles in her leg. See how much damage you can do. Apparently, I can't. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be rolling because I'm. Uh, I have, that's one less die that I'm. Uh, what I'm supposed to do because apparently I decided that I'm supposed to roll perceptual alertness instead of instead of uh, the <laughs> instead of dexterity and melee. You know, uh, this negotiator for the sabbat apparently doesn't. Um feel like she has very many chances fighting, so she's just trying to bullshit her way out of this. What disciplines did I give her? No, I gave her aspects and dominate. What was the third? <laughs> the third... Nope, she doesn't stand a chance. She's essentially a sabbat uh, you know, social character, which means that she's boned. Okay, two successes. Actually, that should be two more dice because apparently I have no idea. How, uh, uh, I have no idea how to uh, roll, uh, roll, uh, roll anything at all. Yeah, I'm gonna split the video and. Uh...